the STM32 microcontroller, this one, oversees the movement of the car motors, the OLED screen display, and the sensors. It may sound simple, but the STM32 microcontroller board is a delicate thing. Programming must be done carefully, or the hardware might be irreversibly spoiled. Therefore, many careful tests and calibrations were done to ensure that this did not happen. Keeping the robot at a consistent speed was a big issue we faced initially, and hence after some research and brainstorming, we decided to use a PID controller for the stepper motors. The controller will continuously sense the current RPM of the motors, and continuously update the PWM signal sent to the motors to get as close as possible to the desired RPM. To ensure this efficient part of the user, you can do the same thing with the robot to users and comprehensive manner for every user to understand. The Android works as a remote wireless remote control and acts as a one-stop for receiving and sending commands. Let's see how it works. The user interface is implemented with the ease of use in mind. We achieve this by keeping all functionalities onto a single page, including the Bluetooth connectivity with RPI to ensure communication. The draggable objects allow the user to set obstacles onto the arena with ease. By utilizing a long press on the obstacle, the user can also easily change the direction. An added feature of the Android includes a real-time live feed of the robot captured by the RPI image recognition, and this will be reflected on the tablet. As shown, with a click of a button, you can observe the robot's point of view when navigating in the arena within the tablet. Our team was founded with the single goal of moving the robot seamlessly across the different obstacles to set up the us. The algorithm works as the brain of the robot, rendering the controlling path for the robot movement throughout the arena. First, it examines the X and Y coordinates of each obstacle as well as its orientation. Exhaustive search is used to determine the sequence of obstacles that will generate the shortest distance. Next, the a star algorithm is used to detect the shortest path to each obstacle while avoiding obstacle collision. The cost of turning and the turning radius is taken into consideration during the calculation of the cost of each path. The path with the lowest travel cost to each obstacle is selected and the full sequence of movements for the robot to follow is then written. The rest of the is the main operation and tasks charge between different components of the model. To do this, a serial connection is made from the RPI to transmit the commands to the STM. Next, a Bluetooth connection is used to connect the Android to the RPI for them to receive and transmit the various instructions to and from the STM and ImageRack and vice versa. Finally, we have a Wi-Fi connection is enabled to receive the string command from the PC to RPI. Image recognition is the eye of the robot, which allows it to scan the surroundings for you. Do allow for image recognition, first multiple pictures were taken and uploaded onto RoboFlow to draw the bounding boxes for each of the images and export it as a file. Next, we split the data into training and valid set and train the data using TensorFlow Effective DEL to output a model which will be used by the robot camera to detect the correct image and output the confidence level and image ID to Android. Finally, for average pillar image, the camera is able to detect images with confidence level above 90% and take a snapshot and send it to the PC for viewing. to testing and finally bringing it to life.